Hey, what's up, my YouTube family? Your main DJ Broxy from Broxy Entertainment coming to you with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Tascam 3200 or your 4800 um, with your uh, DAW. Now, the DAW that I'm using is Studio One. A lot of people are start, starting to use Studio One, which is fantastic. Um, I love Studio One. I've been using it for over three years now. Um, so the, the DAW that I'm going to be showing you is on Studio One, um, but I'm sure that all the DAWs is the same process. Um, logic and stuff like that, it's going to be the same process. Now, there's a few things that you need to do um, to connect this into that. Now, first of all, you're going to need a USB cable that's going to go from your computer, whether you have a laptop or you have an iMac, um, and once again, I'm not too familiar with PC computers, um, so I'm going to be showing you mostly on Macs, but I'm sure it will be the same process. Now, you're going to need a USB cable that goes from your Mac or your computer into your mixer. And the back of the mixer has a port that you're going to uh, connect your USB cable to. Um, once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and download, um, you're going to Google, um, drivers for um, your Tascam 3200 or your Tascam 4800 and download those drivers and once you download the drivers um, there's a few little stuff that needs to be um, programmed with the mixer in order to get those two things to uh, recognize each other um, your DAW and your mixer to recognize each other um, so I'm gonna take you to that step now it's an extra step if you have the uh, FireWire card because what happened with the FireWire card um, you can have your inputs now you can have up to 32 inputs if I'm not mistaken or 24 inputs with your FireWire card um, I do not have the FireWire card installed in this one um, which is a bummer because I, I, you know, I, can't get, I can't get to use my inputs directly to my DOS so you can put in this into uh, when you have the FireWire ca uh, card installed, it, you don't need um, an external or an extra um, interface to bring in or to bring out your sound because um, the FireWire card connects directly into that and the whole mixer converts into um, into an interface. Now with this, I don't have it so I'm going to need an extra, well I do have an extra interface um, because I don't have the FireWire card. Um, with, as soon as I get one in hand, I'm going to be installing the FireWire card in this. Now, my 4800 has the, four, uh, the FireWire card installed. So, it, it, made, it made it easier for me because I can do all the routing of my audio that's going in into my DAW. But in this video, we're going to keep it simple. And I'm just going to be showing you how to use your faders to control your DAW. Now you can also use the pan to control your DAW and all that good stuff. Um, you can solo, you can mute, you can do all that stuff. You can have use of these uh, buttons right here which is stop, play, record. Um, and this kind of stuff make it a lot easier to your workflow when you are in the studio. You know, to have everything hands on and I tell people all the time, like it's good to have some kind of surface than using a mouse. Um, for me, um, at the end of the day, it's going to be the same result because you just you just controlling the DAW with this. You, it's not like it's going to add any coloration or anything. But just the feel of knowing that you can, you know, turn multiple channels at once while you're mixing, make it a lot easier when you're mixing down your music. So I highly recommend using a control surface. Um, with your DAW. So let's get hands on and let me show you around. All right. All right, our very first step is going to be is pressing this button right here, Alt, then going into Remote. Now, once you go into Remote, you're going to see several options. The option we're going to go for is UE Emulate. Press Enter. And we're good with that. Now, when we go into machine control, right underneath here, you're gonna go into 
Yui emulate again? Yes. So we're going to add that. All right. So where you see add, you add that. Now there's a process that we need to do right here. And what the arrow is right here, you're going to press enter. And this is going to control um, your transports. So once you do that, a very next step is to go into the DAW. All right, once we're in the DAW, and I have a project that's open, we're gonna go into Preferences. You're gonna go into MIDI, right here, External Device, Add, and you're gonna go into Mackey, and right here, you're gonna press Mackey, UE and add that. Now we're going to press receive. You're going to see remote task cam. Hope you can see that. It says task cam 32 and the uh, DM 32 remote port one. We're going to go to port one for our receive from and send from port one. We're going to press add. And right now that's going to be controlling eight. We want to go ahead and control, if you have the 32, uh, the, the 3200, it's going to control 16 faders at once. If you have the 4800, it's going to control 24 fader at once. So in this situation, we're going to go ahead and add another UE. But this time, we're going to go into Tascam 32 um, port 2 for a receive from and send to we're gonna go ahead and remote port two. Press OK. Now we have added two UE, two Mac UE, um, port one and port two. Now, uh, when it comes to this, uh, we need to do one more process, which is placing these. So we're gonna go ahead and place the first one into group one. But let me go and do this. So you go placement. And you're going to see both of them to the bottom. You're going to place the other one right here. So you can name these so you don't get confused. Close that down. Um, if you do have the 4800, you want to add an extra UE so it makes 24 channels. Because right now we are in the 30, we have the 3200. So it's only going to control 16 channels. If you had a 48, you just add another UE and it's going to give you the option for another port. But this only gives us an option to have only two ports because it only controls 16 faders at once. Anyway, once you do that, you can press OK. And that's it for that. Um, we're going to go into a mixer. And right here where you see remote. Now our mixer is controlling, um, is controlling our DAW. If we go into our DAW and go into mixer, and I move my faders around on my mixer. Right now, my mixer is controlling, as you can see. My mixer is controlling all the 16 channels of my DAW. Not just that, if we go in here, you have these features. You can go ahead and play. As you can see, we press play and our DAW is playing right now. I do not have my uh, interface connected, so you're not going to hear any sound, but you can see that the is controlled by the mixer. If I press stop, it's gonna stop my DAW. If I press play, my DAW is playing. And the beauty about this is that you have your track selection that's gonna select the track on your DAW. So if we go into mute, I can also mute 
with my mixer and you can go ahead and have all of these options that make it easier and you can also pan if you want to pan if you can see by going to pan it will pan my DAW the channel that correspond with my DAW alright ladies and gentlemen and that's how uh, you connect your Tascam DM3200 with your DAW the same process is going to be for any other DAW that you're using um, like I said I'm using Studio One so um, that's the DAW that I can uh, teach you how to do it um, it should be easy in uh, Logic um, I did this before in Logic so it's easier even in Logic it's easy alright my YouTube family so there you had it how to connect your Tascam DM3200 or your 4800 with your DAW I hope this video was informative enough um, if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up this video. If you have any questions, leave your questions below and I will try my best to help you out. Um, so once you follow these steps, you should be alright. Um, hope everybody have a blessed day, a blessed night. It's your man DJ Roxy from Roxy Entertainment. Until next time. Peace out.